Okay, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Houdini latest version 12.5 in uh, Linux CentOS or in uh, I should have put it here. I use uh, Red Hat before and then Fedora and then CentOS and then Stella OS which is a remix version between CentOS and uh, some a lot more application from Ubuntu. Uh, but it is still using the M application. Uh, Ubuntu is famous, but it is not yet uh, good for production. If you are running a business, then uh, Ubuntu is not ready for that. Uh, okay, so let's cut the crap short. So now this is what I will extract. Okay, you can download all these application uh, with my all of these application down here at cgps.com or uh, Wari's internet and many other torn website so please don't ask me where I can download that you can go to cgpersuers.com cgps.com cgpersuer whatever uh, uh, gfxdomain.net and many more so now uh, this is the folder that you will need to install uh, I will need to change the directory to that one you see the folder of installation, which is uh, Houdini. Uh, this one, where's that Houdini that install? So the first thing that you will need to do is to give an executable permission to that file, Houdini that install, and then you run this command, the same command, but with just Houdini install, and it will run it installation. I don't need to read all of this. I just press enter, and it will scan everything through. And finally, it will ask you whether you will like it or not. If not, you just keep it there. Say no. If you like it, just press yes. Seems to be very long with all this. Uh, oh, Usa. Too long. Sorry, it's a bit noisy because my nephew is at home. He's at home. This is the place of Houdini. Yep. So. There it is. Uh, this is the Houdini stuff. After you install Houdini, we'll go to CD OPT here, right there. So all you need to do is to uh, go to that folder, CD OPT, uh, and then you type uh, the same as this one, OPTFS 12.5.37.0. If you are not sure about that, you can cd and then you go to the directories of that, opt, and you will see it here. You just drag and drop and enter. And after that you need to type like source houdini underscore setup. Uh, you need to do that to set up the environment for that, otherwise it will not work. And then you will need to stop. To stop the Houdini server, in Windows you can go to System32 or you can right click Task Manager and then you stop the service or whatever which is faster than uh, Linux in terms of doing that. But here, here you have to stop the uh, server. And here you see ECT and it dot days, sensing, whatever. You paste it there and you press enter. It will take some time. Okay, it's already stopped. And then you need to change mode. You come back to your installation folder, uh, which is the one that you have just extracted, or they have just extracted, and then you will see this. Uh, uh, you go to the crack folder. Uh, I don't know where it is. Right here. You need to give executable permission to that one. Right. And then you need to copy that. To I don't recommend you to do like sudo cp copy sudo copies and paste it there. It most of the time it doesn't work at least for me it doesn't create this graphical stuff or whatever so after you copy that you need to go to USR you need to go to lips folder and then you need to go to CC so you need to do a writable permission to that and then you go into the folder you see that it here you shift delete it you paste it there okay when you paste it there you need to it's up to you you keep it there or not but I always stop it 
and then you can restart the server which is this one you can type it or you can press the arrow key up and you just change it from stop to start wouldn't it will start for the love of god it will start okay so the first thing you need to do is to stretch out your terminal because thing is going to be to get nasty soon you see this kitchen right now so you need to give an executable permission to it as well so I can drop it you press enter so the next step you will need to do is to uh, give the license key uh, which is a license administrator I'm running this while my internet is on so you see the internet is running and I'm downloading through uh, this bullshit thing uh, what is it view all you have to do is to come to server information and then you will check here so I this file the key generation I drag and drop it there and then I press enter it will ask for the server name so the server name is which is the server host which is localhost dot local domain and then it will ask you for server ID so my ID is 54 which is here you cannot copy it B 6 D 4 F4 uh, stretch it a little bit more just in case it get nasty press enter you ha that's all the key so you need to copy first the server right click and copy you came to this one file and manually enter key so the first one is you control V to paste it in uh, you can copy any stuff that you want to play along it can be PlayStation if you want to uh, use Houdini for a game especially a generic game which is so uh, very famous right now a lot of people are using that uh, but for me that is enough for me. I can go to this I usually copy the first five which is suitable for me so that is the second line uh, master uh, ng and then Houdini render copy Houdini HDK or Houdini uh, hello beta whatever if you like it just test with any particular one but uh, I think uh, all these are enough for me copy and paste it and then you press accept alright folks I'm pretty sure it uh, running uh, I, I don't use NAMI I use uh, HFCE 4.8 or whatever it successfully is installed everything is okay now you can close it I can uh, CD back and oh, come back so let's see if it's running or not you come to you see side effect Houdini folder here it has Houdini and Houdini FX so which one Houdini will not work Houdini FX is the one so I drag and drop it here I move it to Maya and then you press click if you press Houdini it will not run my friend oh you see it's very very fast that's what I like about Linux it doesn't mean that Windows suck, but that's what I like about Linux. It crashes as well, but it uh, the chance of crash is very rare, so it's very easy. And then you can do whatever you want with it in here. You can file in any file, or you can just yep. You see, folk volume. Yep. Many other things. So I hope you like it and give me back comment or subscribe to my channel i'm totally like linux and i will do everything to have all the linux user out there whether it is ubuntu or CentOS or fedora or whatever to survive with that 